Hi guys, this is Jahan from KHL Motorsport. Uh, this is our project car um, that has been commissioned uh, to us uh, by a client. Uh, it is a 1996 Subaru Legacy BG5 chassis. It does not have a Subaru engine anymore. Um, we got rid of the stock EJ20E single cam boxer engine and we installed um, a 4G63 engine, but not just any 4G63 engine. It's actually made in Korea. It's a Hyundai engine. Uh, it looks like a Setia 4G63 engine, if you guys are familiar. It has a different rocker cover. But in, for all intents and purposes, it's a 4G63. It was a bit difficult to shoehorn uh, the 4G63 into this Subaru chassis. Um, it really, even up to now, it really, really doesn't fit. It sticks out the hood. Uh, you'll see in the pictures that uh, we had to cut the hood just to clear it. And we'll have to figure out something to, to cover it. Or maybe not, because I think it's pretty cool looking. The direct inspiration is uh, from the Honda Roo project. You can see it somewhere else in YouTube. Maybe we'll put a link somewhere. We'll put a link somewhere there. So we broached him the idea, hey, bring your legacy here. We have a 4G63 out of a Hyundai Sonata. Um, let's, let's piss off a lot of people. Let's gather everyone and have a party in one car, so, so to speak. The, the rest of the car is pretty much Subaru except for the engine. So far, um, we've adapted a lot of non Subaru related parts to it because this car was provided to us by the owner uh, incomplete it was lacking a lot of things a lot of things I don't know why basically half the challenge was getting all the parts together uh, to make it uh, sort of whole by the legacy it's because well if the guy had the GC8 if he had an old uh, Impreza, that would be better, it would be a lighter car, it would perform better, especially with a non-turbocharged engine, so, uh, but hey, it's a Subaru, I was told he got this for cheap. Speaking of parts, when we plump into this, this car, again, this car was incomplete, um, we, it needed a rear anti-roll bar, so instead of buying a ready-made part, from a known brand, we decided to make our own. And we had a front anti roll bar for it that was very thick. So we modified it and we installed it in the rear. So we think this car will really rotate now. Um, and you can see now, uh, it has a Sheepdog BRS muffler. It was original to me, it was original to my Elanta. And we felt that it would most suit this car better and it, it really looks good, it really looks meant to be. We made a custom exhaust for it, uh, we made headers for it. We're planning to not modify the engine too much. In the future, since it's a 4G63, it's gonna be ridiculous with a turbo, tur you know, with a turbo. So that, that's for the distant future for this car, but for now we just want to get it running. Uh, the owner wants it to be fielded in uh, rally cross so this will be our rally cross car so there will be a few things we do to it that we won't uh, super explain we still need to figure out our rear differential we still have to figure out our cooling system and we still have to figure out our engine management and piece it together um, you will see some pictures of the interior it's still a bit of a mess the dashboard is on the top of the roof Tires aren't on it. Oh, there's still much more to be done. And of course, you have to put air conditioning. And we'll probably detail more things that we've done. Today. There's some interesting things that would be good for a future video. This is uh, Project Hubaru. Uh, we've written about it on the website, uh, kuholgarage.online. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, KHL Motorsport. Um, also, uh, like us on Facebook. Also, we are on Instagram. 
Uh, we'll see you next time. We'll update you on this car again. Again, follow us, subscribe, etc., etc. See you next time.